this is the swedging tool I made. I had actually made this once before for, or he had this made for uh, uh, swedging on, uh, uh, put it, putting a swedge on a cable for ends or for when you make a loop and swedge them. Anyway, it's half inch uh, hot rolled square stock. It's got two grade eight, uh, half inch grade eight uh, fine thread bolts. It's threaded into this part, clearance drilled on this part so it'll go up and down. And then I drilled uh, two, uh, oh, I guess they're 11 30 seconds holes, clearance for, uh, it's a uh, 30 second over uh, 3 sixteenths. Um, anyway, those clearance holes go all the way through. These are the lugs that I got. They're just a little under uh, 11 sixteenths on the outside diameter. This hole I drilled here is 9 sixteenths. So uh, I'll swedge it down a little bit in size and then we'll pin punch it. I was hoping I could sw just swedge it down but my hole's too big. The first thing I do is, is you put on the end. See this one? I'm going to flatten this out with a hammer. I just slightly flattened it. Now I'm going to turn this 90 degrees and tighten it back down. And then before I take this out, um, I need a 90 degree lug on this. And the place I bought them from, they didn't have them, so I'm going to bend this over. Maybe. take this over to a better vice. This is not my favorite vice.
And there it is. It makes a pretty nice wedge. And it's plenty tight. And I've already got my heat shrink tubing on there, so all I have to do is shrink those on there and it'll be done. This is one I did, uh, the first one I did. Anyway, that's it.